Okay, so, hey, what's up guys, how you guys doing, man? Um, hopefully you guys enjoy Monday Night Raw. I'm posting a video response to RKO Legend Code 687. Um, because apparently what I heard is that Michael Cole is, like, just completely out of control. And I don't really believe that. I really think it's just an angle, but I've been caught up on the news and... I really think that Michael Cole is just really just sticking to the story angle for him to bash on his family. It's for him to, especially for him to bash his old son who associated with Michael Cole. Now he's going to come out and badmouth Michael Cole. Alright, yeah. Maybe he's gone way too far. He's just gone way too extreme. But they're making him look ridiculously invincible. Um, and everybody's expecting Jerry Lawless to be the crap out of Michael Cole. But... I don't really think that's going to happen. I think Michael Cole's going to get an upper hand and get some good moves in the match. Like, he's his training with Jack Swagger should really quite pay off. So, he's going to look very great in the match. But for him to, you know, he's going to look buff. Yeah, he's going to look buff. Michael Cole, of course, is going to look buff. And uh, apparently, he's going to have some good upper hands in the match. But then, eventually, soon, he gets his squash halfway through the match. So, hopefully, Jack Swagger gets halfway involved. And then, Stone Cold just... Calls it down the middle, winds up Stone Cold instead of Michael Cole. Because he, he, he thought he was able to beat up Jim Ross. But I think for Michael Cole, Michael Cole is just hilarious. How he bashed our truth How he ankle lock Chris Vass and says, Come on, Lawler! Come on, Lawler! Come on, Lawler! And on top of that, um, it was just how he uh, made Lawler tap out the actual Jerry Lawler. And, you know, apparently, uh, this, the, the, Jerry Lawler was, like, having good class sticking to character. But, Jerry Lawler break character and beat up Michael Cole. I think, yeah, he's, he's kind of been way over his head, Michael Cole, for him to say something like this. If that's the case, it's because in real life he called Josh Matthews an F-bomb, not the other F-bomb. It's the other one, the maggot, and that's what he called Josh Matthews, and... I think, yeah, he's in way over his head, and I think Jerry Law is in for a little treat, you know, if that's the case. But apparently, um, Michael Cole, who's been really, like, excuse me, calling out the bad diva matches that's been going on that the crowd's died to, Michael Cole was, like, just very entertaining as a heel. And, you know, apparently, um, you know, hopefully after WrestleMania, Michael Cole doesn't come back as a face. He should just stick to being a heel for a while, but hopefully they don't wear it off quite very quickly. I think it would have been too soon for something like this to happen, apparently. And, excuse me, I really think that, um, you know, Michael Cole is, like, playing a great heel, but for him to go too far like that, it's making his heel character look bad. I think Michael Cole just needs to just really knock it off and just stick to just playing his heel character right, because he's playing an excellent heel so far, so... I have nothing to really can't I can't complain and apparently there's nothing for me to complain about apparently because Michael Cole is really playing his heel character right, especially with the gong. The gong was excellent. What he did with Eve Torres bash Michael Cole, Michael Cole bashed Eve Torres' match, both her matches. He's like, Could we move on with this match? This match is a waste of time. And I didn't even catch up on Raw until like halfway through Monday Night Raw, apparently. So, so Monday Night Raw was good. I'm, you know, try and catch me tomorrow with another review. You know, haven't been having time lately. I've been busy with school and stuff. So, but I did caught up with Michael Cole, you know, splashing Jerry Lawler. And Jerry Lawler is just playing out of control. He's really trying to fight Michael Cole. And, you know, he really wants to put his hands on him. I don't know if this is real life or not, but it was probably a mix of both. And on top of that, Michael Cole is still sticking to the story angle from, what do you call that? Still sticking to the story angle of just playing his heel character, right? And yeah, Michael Cole thinks he's all that, but the only angle he is, and I know people forgot that, Nidia kissed Michael Cole. So, if it, if it was back then that happened and he turned heel, he could have think he's the man, because... He got a kiss for the most beautiful girl, even though she was already someone's girlfriend. And I know people have forgot about that, but I remember that. <laughs> uh, that was just ironic, because he got slapped by Eve Torres, which made it more ironic. And now he's trashing the Divas today, he's saying, trashing the Divas matches that no one's into. He's like, can we hurry up with this match? He has something to show Jerry Law, but for Michael Cole to bring in his family, I think that's just pretty nuts. That's what he really wanted to show. But Grandmaster Sexay and Mike. 
Jay Lawless was perfect enough because I think that's what he went over the wire, especially when he had to talk about his mother, similar to Randy Orton and Eddie Guerrero, except Randy Orton did not take it that far. He actually played even a better heel, and, you know, he didn't go around like he's all that. He's, he just stick to his character, and he played his villain character right. Randy Orton actually played a great villain on his own because his uh, villain character was just morally related to, um, how do you call that? more aggressive and more demanding it's just like his face character except the difference with his face character he'll he'll he usually randy Orton also runs his mouth it bashes people and he backs it up randy Orton he doesn't really talk as much but he he's him he's just more of just how he talks he just like he doesn't really want to talk he just talks it and he backs it up and just when he talks he actually sends a message that's going to happen and he backs it up so He's doing stuff that's similar, to say the least. But, yeah, anyway, for Michael Coles, apologize for that. Because I remember hearing a review about when someone mentioned Eddie Guerrero. But, you know, Red York did not go that far as far as Michael Cole was doing, bashing his family. But th that's what he's really trying to build. He's trying to build the part where Jay Law wants to kick Michael Cole's butt. But Michael Cole is just going to get an upper hand in the match. Like, he's going to get some point of an upper hand. Where he's going to be in control at some point with help from Swagger. Like, Swagger's not that injured from this past Monday night. He's not that injured. He just got some backburns from the steel chair. Steel chair is probably real, but yeah. Like, he's probably going to survive that. And he's going to, like, mostly get involved, apparently. I think that's. <laughs> really? Swagger's going to be okay. He's going to help Michael Cole get a huge upper hand. And then Jerry Long's going to kick Michael Cole's butt at the end. That's how they're going to do it, but don't make it look too obvious at one point, but don't make it too obvious how he's going to do it throughout the match, but Jay Lawler just turned the match around, like, that's what they should do, and just nailed the, his finishing move, like, over five times, and then, you know, Stone Cold, hopefully Stone Cold does screw Jay Lawler and turn on Lawler, help Michael Cole win, I have a feeling that's going to happen, but I don't think that's going to happen, because Michael Cole beat up Stone Cold's best friend, Jim Ross, so, Stone Cold Steve Austin, uh, has to Stone Cold stun Michael Cole, and even Grandmaster Sexy has to turn on Michael Cole to help Jerry Lawler win. I think that's the that's where they're gonna go. So, yes, um, apparently for Michael Cole, um, Michael Cole should stick to be the heel for a while, especially after WrestleMania, and then seek a rematch, and then that'll be about it. So. Yes, those are my reviews. Sorry if I have some random thoughts, but this is my video response to Legend Killer 687. And yes, I will be back with the Monday Night Raw review. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully I get some views for that. So, this is the Red Dog Street, and I'm taking you to the extreme.